the Flood Flyer. I've spent years working on her. In a few hours, I'll be the first handyman to send a rocket into space. Hey, Mike, could you show me how to make a rocket like that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Norman. Building a rocket like this is very complicated. Oh, Mike, I know all about rockets, I do. Whoosh! <laughs> uh, all right, Norman. Uh, there's a book on making simple rockets in my workshop. Why don't you go and have a look and I'll help you make one after the launch. Cool! There. This should be far enough away from the launch area. Yes, we'll need to make sure everyone stands behind this tape. <gasps> Penny! Sam! Look! It's just like a real rocket. It is a real rocket, Elvis. That's why we have to make sure everything is as safe as can be. <gasps> hey, Mike! Your rocket looks amazing. Yes. She's a beauty, Elvis. Dad! Oh, oh no! Come back! Thank you, Sam. Might be an idea to put your handbrake on next time, Mike. Uh, uh, that should do it. Ah, I finished the posters, Norman. For your rocket launch, look. Great. Now go and stick them all over town. Everybody needs to see my rocket. Gently tap the nose cone into place. Uh, uh, uh. Genius! Well, it's all very well when the rocket goes up. But what about when it comes down again? It could land anywhere. Don't worry, Dillis. Mike's rocket has a parachute for when it lands. He's thought of everything, you see. <laughs> I thought Mike had the rocket, not Norman. No, Dad. Norman's built a rocket too, and it's even bigger than Mike's. Bigger, eh? I can't miss that. Count me in. James Jones, what are you doing sticking things to my clean windows? It's a poster for Norman's rocket launch, Mrs Price. <gasps> oh, this town has gone rocket mad. Fires of London! It's the worst high tide Pondy Pandy has ever had, Tom! Struth! It'll take ages to clean up. Yes, and that's once the tide has gone back out. That won't be for hours. Station Officer Steel to Fireman Sam. Can you hear me? Very loud and clear, sir. The Jones family is stranded on the whole fish cafe roof. We're on our way. Over and out, sir. It's gonna be a busy day. Toast for breakfast, Norman. No sense in panicking on an empty stomach. Mum, do you think Wooly and Lamikins are all right? Oh, I'm sure they're fine. But what if they aren't? What if they need help right now? Look, I'll give Fireman Sam a call, eh? You'll know what to do. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oh, I hope you're all right. Thanks for dropping in, Sam. We had to climb up here. The water was rising so fast. So I can see. Is everyone OK? Yes, but we can't find Lion. We'll keep an eye out for him, Bronwyn. Now, let's get you all off this roof. There's something else, Sam. My fishing boat. It's gone. We'll get you all back to the station, then we can start a search. OK, Tom. Yes, Dillis. I'm sure those sheep will have found somewhere well away from the water. But we'll keep a lookout. Now, now, don't leave the shop until the water level has gone down. This is an emergency situation. But, yes, hang on, Dillis. Trevor Evans stranded in his bus? 
Uh, station officer steal to penny. Uh, oh, uh, yes, sorry, it is. Bye. Station officer steal to penny. Yeah, yeah, will do, sir. We're on our way. <sighs> It's funny not going to an emergency in Jupiter or Venus. Well, they'd never get through all this deep water, Elvis. Right, we've got a bus to catch. <laughs> you need to hang on tight, Elvis. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> and keep your eyes peeled for Willie and Lamekins. Careful, Norman. Oh, Norman! Oh. Oh. Norman! Oh, oh ma'am! It's got all the kids, oh. 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 oh! oh, it's no good. I'll never do it. You're right there, ma'am. I hope I don't get you as a partner in the race. No. Oh. Get away, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> Don't worry, though, ma'am. You'll be polishing that three-legged race trophy by the end of the day because I'm going to win it. Oh, I'm sure you will, Poppet. Oh, because there's no way I can. So, one last time. The arrows here, here and here show the route the racers must take. Wow, it's just like a proper racer. That's because it is a proper race, Cridlington. Right, you. Right, let's get started. I shall now make the draw for the three-legged race. <sighs> Cridlington, you will partner Mike Flood. Wahey! Oh, get in! Put it there, partner. James Jones will partner Sarah Jones. Oh. My brother, the slow coach. My sister, the nag. Norman Price and Mandy Flood. Oh, yes. You may as well give us the trophy now. <laughs> so that means Sam will partner Dillis. Oh, that blows your chance of winning. Stuck with me. Nonsense, Dillis. You just need a bit of confidence, that's all. There. That should hold until the end of the race. Good luck, everyone, and remember to follow the arrows. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh! Ow! Easy, Norman. There's no prizes for second place, Mandy. It's left, right, left, it's right, right. I'm singing while I'm swinging with a one bum boo. I'm singing while I'm swinging with a... Oops! Oh! Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. You can go now. Uh, uh, just a few teething problems, sir. I'm sorry, Sam. I knew I'd let you down. You just need to get into a rhythm, Dillis. Say something to help you concentrate. A rhyme. Oh, what about? You always get more at the cut play store. Well, uh, let's give it a try. You always get more at the cut price store. You That's always it, Dennis. get more at the cut price store. You always get Come on, James, do a loop the loop. No, Norman, I'm not supposed to do anything dangerous. Uh, it's not dangerous, it's a stunt. Here, let me have a go. No! If you were a real friend, you'd let me have a go. Uh, I suppose you could have a small go. Just be careful. Of course I'll be careful. Careful's my middle name. Really? I thought it was Stanley. Right. Let's show you how it's really done. <laughs> huh? ah, what? Who? Oh, who turned out the lights? <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Oh, but please stop. Oh, um, OK, here you are, James. You'll go. Oh, now you're for it, Norman. James Jones, I'm surprised at you. Eh? You should be more careful with that plane. Who knows what you could have done? Sorry, Station Officer Steele. You made me crunch my lunch. I'm really sorry. 
That's it, young man. I don't want to see you flying that plane in Ponty Pandy again. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm not allowed to fly my plane. But Station Officer Steele only said you couldn't fly your plane in Ponty Pandy. So? So, as long as we go outside the town, we can fly the plane anywhere we like. I'm not sure. I understand. You probably don't want to fly it anymore. But I do! Great! Let's go to Punty Pandy Mountain! <laughs> oh, Sam, I'm not sure I can do this. Ah, Killington! Doing the drill, I see! Good job! But, uh, uh... Don't worry, Elvis. You'll be fine. Yes. You just have to give Tom the thumbs up and you're on your way. What? Like this? It, oh, 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 it, it's really high. Can't you make it do something more interesting? I'm getting dizzy. I like flying it this way. But you could do some stunts. Um, let me show you. Hey! Watch this. Wasn't supposed to happen. Too right. What about my plane? No problem. We can go up and get it. No, Norman. Those branches are much too high. Not if we use those. In 200 yards, turn left. Well, according to my map, we should be turning right. With all due respect, Station Officer Steele, there's a satellite up there in space telling me which way to go. Yes, well, I'm sat here in the back of the bus telling you it's wrong. No, no, boys. We're supposed to be having a fun day out. Dillis is right. Let's have some music, Trevor. Oh, right to you. Excellent idea. A good old-fashioned sing-song. Everybody join in now. Over the hills and valleys, under clear blue skies, <gasps> fields of golden daffodils, that's where my heart doth lie. Come on! What's the matter with you lot? Join in! We wanted to hear the radio. Yeah! We want to hear some proper music. Proper music? Well, it's my bus, and if that's what the passengers want... Great! Cool! Come on, come on! There must be an emergency out there somewhere. This must be the quietest day in the whole history of Ponty Pandy. No fires, no cats stuck up trees. No Norman Price. Oh, yeah, that must be it. Not every day is full of danger and excitement, Elvis. A firefighter has to cope with anything, even a day when nothing much happens. You're right, Sam. But when it does happen, I'll be ready and waiting. We're almost at the beach, folks. Hooray! In 300 yards, turn left. No, no, no! That's absolute bilge water. According to my map, we should be turning right. Oh, here we go again. Station Officer Steele, I have been driving a bus for over 20 years. Well, I was driving a fire engine while you were still in your pram. Turn right, left, right, left. For pity's sake, hurry up and decide. We're turning left. It's my bus, my sat-nav system and my decision. <laughs> 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 arrived at your destination. Have a nice day. This can't be right. Oh, no! Oh, we're stuck! Uh, I don't feel well. Uh. Oh, I, I hate to be a wet blanket, but according to my tidal flowchart, the tide should be coming in any minute now. Oh, my God! So much for your oh, no. gizmos. I don't understand it. Satnav Sally is supposed to be foolproof. What are we going to do? Call Fireman Sam. You might be needing one of these, Station Officer Steele. Happy birthday to me. Happy Morning, birthday. Dillis. Is it your birthday? Why, yes, it is. Bronwyn bought me a cream snatcher. Look. Oh, yeah. 
How very, uh, unusual. Happy birthday, Mrs. Price. Oh, hello, James. How good of you to remember. Um, are you going out today? No. Oh, good. Um, I thought you might like some help in the shop, seeing as it's your birthday. Why, thank you, James. That'd be lovely. Good lad, James. Although I don't know why Norman isn't helping you out today. Oh, you know my Norman. He's very busy. Too busy to remember his own mother's birthday? Poppycock! So you really are sure it'll be big enough? Yes, Norman! Do you think it's too runny? No, Norman! I think you need a bit more of this. What? Oh, what are you doing? Look at the mess! Well, you can't bake a cake without breaking a few eggs. Oh, oh or is that an omelette? That's it! You do it! I've had enough! Well, if you don't care about my mum's birthday, then go! Ah! Andy, where are you going? Away from Bussy Norman! Uh, oh, uh... I just wondered uh, when you'd like me to put the cake in the oven, eh? It's ready to go in now, Mike. Now, let me know when it's ready and I'll get it out for you. I'll be in my workshop. Okie dokie. Ah, a couple of hours should do it. Um, right, I'd better go and see how Sarah's doing with the gazebo. I've polished the cucumbers, Mrs Price. What's next? That'll be all thanks, James. I need to pop to the whole fish cafe for a nice bit of halibut for my birthday supper. Oh, um, you can't go out, Mrs Price. Uh, there's, um, um, isn't any fish today. No fish? Uh, all of the fish have gone on holiday. See? The fish have gone on holiday? Hmm. I've got some Christmas lights and a CD player and... <gasps> Get a wiggle on! I thought you'd have it up by now. Norman, these things take time. We'll soon see about that. Hey, let go! Give it here! The... Oh. Oh. Well done, Norman Price. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you weren't such a slow coach, pants. Yes, being a fireman is all about keeping calm in a crisis. I hope I get a chance to keep calm in a crisis soon. Oh, that's the spirit. In Punty Pandy, helping out is what we do. Isn't that right, Sam? That's right, sir. Hello, Charlie. Are you going to be long? We're out of fish. Oh, I'll get out in the boat right away. Bye, love. I'd better be going. I need to get fishing. All hands on deck, eh? <laughs> well, it's only me. Today I could do with an extra pair. Twice the hands, twice the speed. You could always help Charlie, sir. Is it? What? Yes. It's your afternoon off, sir. Well, it all depends if he's good with boats. Good with boats? Of course. I'm an expert. <laughs> Great. Then welcome aboard, <laughs> Captain. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know why you need to see me off. I know all there is to know about the ocean. I'll bet you do, sir. Oh, you'll know all about the sharks, then. <laughs> sharks? And the electric eels. <laughs> Electricity and water? Very dangerous. <laughs> That's enough, you lot. Um, all aboard! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, Bill! Oh, oops. <laughs> There we are, sir. <sighs> Lovely, calm day for fishing. Ooh, feels a bit choppy to me. Come on. Ring, will you? There it is. I've just got to call Dillis. Sorry, love, but I've got to keep this phone free, just in case Sam needs me. What? I must be ready and able at all times. 
I'm a reserve fireman, you know. Of course you are, dear. Come on. OK. To begin with, we'll cast some lobster pots over the side. Yeah, just what I was thinking. <laughs> over you go. Perfect. Um, you untied them from the boat. That's right. How are we going to get them back? Uh, I haven't a clue. I'll uh, uh, just go and polish uh, the radio in the cabin. I just brought you some flowers for your room, Norman. But I don't like flowers. Don't worry, Norman. They'll make our room smell nice. But... Uh... Oh, Derek, look at your neat clothes. A place for everything and everything in its place, Auntie Dillis. What a little treasure you are. Oh. I'll just go and put my toothbrush away. Yeah, you do that. I can't let Derek show me up. If he was out of the way, I could prove to Mam what a little treasure I really am. And I think I know how to do it. Have you got it yet, Elvis? No, Sam. I can only get my little finger in. I, I can't reach. Cridlington, what on earth are you doing? I've dropped my locker key down the plug hole, sir. I can't reach it. Hmm. Whenever I lose my key down the plug hole, I tie a hook to some string and fish it out. That's a good idea, sir. Yeah. Those flowers are OK, but they're not Ponty Pandy Pansies. Ponty Pandy Pansies? What are they? Oh, they're only Mum's favourite flower. How she'd love some in a vase on the table at tea time. But I'll be too busy cleaning my boots. Maybe I could get them for her. Thanks, but you can only get them in the mountains. Oh, that's a shame. So I've drawn you a map, see? Oh, uh, great. D -d -d don't worry, you'll be back by tea time. <sighs> right, here goes. Ooh, hang on, I've got it. Yeah. It's just a horrible, stinky piece of lettuce. I think what we need here, Elvis, is a bit of teamwork. OK, Penny, I'll hold the torch while you tell Elvis which way to move the hook. Right a bit. No, no, left a bit. Nearly there. Oh, you got it! Now, bring the hook slowly up. <gasps> yes! Let me at that cake. Uh, I think I might be a bit lost. <laughs> um, oh. Which way is the right way? <laughs> I'm sure I've been past that log before. Wait a minute. That looks like a red flower. It's just some old cloth. Oh, help! Whoa! Whoa! I want this engine so shiny I can see my dinner in it. I, I mean, eat my face off it. Um, uh, just keep polishing. Quidlington, you're late. Sorry, sir. I had to pop into town to get my hair cut for my television performance tonight. Yes. Well, it's time to pop on your helmet and get back to work. <laughs> pop. Oh, silly boy. We eat our sandwiches now. I'm really hungry. Not yet. First, I want to get a photograph of a scarlet-crested waggle warbler. A what? It's a very rare bird. I've been hoping to see one for years. Right. How about a piece of cake, then? Oh, later. Come on. Ah. <sighs> Looks like we're in for a quiet afternoon. I hope we don't have any fires. Smoke makes my singing voice croaky. La 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 la. La 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 la. Billington, stop that squawking and get on with your work. Sorry, sir. Oh, 
Now can we stop for lunch? No, Norman. I haven't seen my scarlet crested waggle warbler yet. No. Oh, I think I just saw one of those waggly warbling thingies. A scarlet crested waggle warbler? Where? Uh, over there, behind that tree. <gasps> Marvellous. You wait here while I go and have a look. Now, what shall I eat first? <laughs> what? Nothing there. You must have been mistaken. Come on. Oh, no. Sir, have I got a spot on the end of my nose? No, no, it, it looks it. Cridlington, you need to keep your mind on the job, not your nose. Job? Who knows? Maybe I won't be a fireman for much longer. <gasps> Won't be a fireman. But Trevor said I might be a famous superstar. Yes, but remember, while you're at work, you're a fireman first. Uh, when you're on the telly tonight, can you say a uh, big hello to your old pal, Station Officer Steel? Uh. I'm sure it went that way. I'll go and check it out. While well, I get stuck into the grub. Oh, looks like a storm. Time we were heading home. What about our packed lunch? This is no time to be thinking about food. But uh, you never got a picture of that bird. <sighs> Next time, maybe. Come on. Oh. <laughs> We're going to start gathering up and making safe the crates, Tom. You see if you can spot any more. No worry, Sam. I'm on to it. One, two, three. Whoop. Come in, Sam. There's another couple moving about just to the south of you. Thanks, Tom. How's the situation at the beach? Yeah, it's sweet. Elvis and Charlie have everything under control. Been this way before. Trevor said he was following his nose. Doesn't look like his nose knows the way, does it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Now, James, we are going to eat our lunch. Yay! I thought that would bring a grin to your chin. <laughs> okay then, who's got the food? We thought you had it. Me? No. I thought you had it. No! This is the worst day out I've ever had! Hey, hey, hey! Let's not get downhearted. We're still having fun, aren't we? But we don't have any lunch! Pah! Who needs lunch? I'll tell you what will cheer you up. Oh, he remembers to pack his ukulele, but he forgets to bring any food. We are the Ponty Pandy Pioneers We've got nothing to eat, not even broccoli spears So dry your eyes, this isn't a time for tears Come on everybody, cheer up! We're the cheerful Ponty Pandy Pioneers <laughs> Right, I think that's the lot Well done everyone, you've all worked very hard Tea, great! Got any cookies? Come on, pioneers. I know I lost the map and we forgot lunch. You forgot the lunch. But we're having a laugh, aren't we? <clears throat> well, uh, you'll be glad to know I've left the best to the end. Ta-da! Wow! Cool! A zip wire! <laughs> See, I told you this was going to be fun. Sam set this up earlier to give you all a treat. Thanks, I go first. No, I want to go first. Trevor, Trevor, let me, me. Actually, if Sam was here, he'd show us how to do it first. Would he? Absolutely. A good pioneer leader always goes first. You're not scared, are you, Trevor? Because if you are, I could always go first and be the leader. No, Norman. I'll do it. Ooh, a meal for steel. <laughs> oh, shoo! Take your eyes off my tuna sandwich. There it is. And no one's guarding it. 
told you boys make better pirates. Let's plunder that treasure, James. Feels heavier. Let's get it back to the skiff. Great idea, Mandy. Yes. They're going to get a shock when they open the pirates' picnic, Captain Sarah. <laughs> should go out alone, Captain. Oi! The sea we calm. And the girls will never get to us out here. It's what proper pirates do. <sighs> you know, I'm tired out. <sighs> Me too. Uh, so I'll be taking a pirate's nap. War. <laughs> Go home! Uh, yes, top, top! Hello, sir. Got a new friend? No, Sam. I've got a pest. <laughs> he thinks he's the fire station cat, Sam. <laughs> Come on, Lion. Let's get you home. <laughs> Lion, no! Radar won't hurt you. Oh, dear. Oh, well done, Cridlington. I'll get him out, sir. Here, yeah, puss, 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 puss. What we need is some food to draw him out, sir. Good thinking, Sam. Yes, something fishy. Absolutely. But I haven't been shopping. The fridge is empty. <laughs> ah. Have you got anything fishy, sir? Ah, uh, there's always my sandwiches, I suppose. Picnic! Uh, oh, rocks! Norman, wake up! Oh, what? What? No wonder the hamper was heavy. Those sneaky girls filled it with rocks. Never mind the picnic. Where are we? Oh, we must have drifted for miles while we were asleep. What are we going to do? Any more sausages, love? Too late. They've all gone now. But be careful, the barbecue's still very hot. Lion! I've got some scraps for you! Where is he? Lion? Lion! Better put the barbie out before we throw it away. Yeah, that will do it. Kids, I'll call Fireman Sam. A lion on the boathouse roof. House roof. Better take that to the cage. Uh, I think they mean Lion the Cat, sir. Uh, lion, lion the Cat? Uh, yes, well, I knew that. Uh, got a cold penny? Just a sniffle, sir. Well, as long as you're up to the job. On our way, sir. I wonder what the emergency is, Radar. Ooh. He's up there! OK, we'll soon have him down. Can you take me up, Elvis? Right o Penny. Okay, Penny. I'm fine. It's just a sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lion. Hooray! Thanks, Penny. Thanks. 
no problem. You sound dreadful, Penny. Should you be at work? It's Sam's day off, so I'm needed at the station. It's just a sniffle anyway. Come on, Elvis. Let's get back. Phew. Drama over. Now, who fancies a spot to fishing? Oh, yes, Dad! Yes, please! Hold on. we better get rid of this lot properly first. Here you go. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a new training exercise? <laughs> no. Elvis is trying to cure his hiccups. It, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, I know Radar is a great rescue dog, but I bet he'd make a great sheep dog too. He's really only trained to be a rescue dog, Norman. No, oh, I'll bet Radar can do anything. He's so clever. Well, has it worked? Yes. That's brilliant. Thanks, Sam. I was uh, wondering if I could take Radar for a walk. OK, Norman. I'm sure he'd love that. Just keep him on the lead where there's traffic about. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. See you later. <sighs> oh, no. Hi, Mandy. I'm taking Radar up to the fields. I'm going to do some shepherding. Want to come? OK. I just ask Mum. Hello, Norman. Yeah, see you, love. I'm just popping over to Newtown for some wood. What about your passenger door? Is it still sticking? Yes, but it'll have to wait. I'll do it when I get back. I've decided I'm going to be a shepherd when I grow up. That's why I brought Radar here. He's going to be my sheepdog. Radar? A sheepdog? Rounding up sheep's not the same as rescuing people. He can do it, I'll show you. OK, Radar, all you have to do is get Woolly and her lamb into that pen. Go on, mush. You know, sheepy sheepy. Um, run after them. Like this. It's easy, see? Oi! <laughs> Rita doesn't understand you. No. You need to give him a command. I am, Mandy. Um, round them up, Rita. You know, rescue. That's whale song. Somewhere out at sea, a whale is calling to its friends. <laughs> I know a whale song, Sam. I flop my tail and flip my fins. I splash and splash, I sure ain't thin. I do the humpback bug every morning, sir. Humpback boogie indeed. Hup, hip, ten, shut. You're looking smart, sir. With good reason, Sam. Today, we are going to have an official group photograph taken, so we all need to be ship-shape and shiny. And that includes you, Cridlington. <laughs> you can rely on me, sir. Hey! And here's another one. That makes three crabs, two fish and a squidgy thing. Nothing. Time to try another rock pool. Hey, Mandy, Norman rules the rock pools. He just got lucky, that's all. Hey! Yes! A starfish and a crab! Who rules the rock pool now? Be 
bit, Elvis. Yes. D down a bit, Sam. Huh? Ooh. Uh, sorry, everyone. I forgot to put some film in my camera. <laughs> Stay there. I won't be a tick. Hurry up. River. Hello. What are you doing here? your mum calling? Don't worry. I'll help you. The fishing competition will have to wait. I need to get help, Norman. I just found a whale. Yeah, right. And I've just caught a mermaid. Let's face it, Mandy. I'm the rock pool king. Whoa. What's the rush, Mandy? Oh. What? Actually, on the beach. Ah. It must have got washed up by the high tide. We've got to keep it wet and get it back in the water somehow. Ah. But it's massive! Then we'll need lots of help. I'll call Fireman Sam. OK, everyone. Say cheese. Ah, ah sorry, Trevor. So, we're not exactly talking about an emergency here, then, Bronwyn. I'm sorry, Sam. I just wish Lion wouldn't keep running off like this. It's not unheard of for cats to wander off for a couple of days. He could be anywhere. Out there. All alone. Look, I'll keep a special eye out for him. I'm sure he'll come back when he's hungry. Yes. Yes, you're right, Sam. Oh, talking of hungry, I'd better get the twins' supper on. They should be back from their school trip any time. Oh, it's no good. I'll flatten the battery if I keep this up. I want to go home. What if no one comes? Ever? What are we going to eat then? Oh, I don't want to be a cannonball. There's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to raise the alarm before it gets too dark. But, Trevor, you can't go out there all alone. What if you get lost? Or if the wild beast gets you? It says in my outdoor training book, never leave a stranded vehicle. Stay together and wait for help. It could be hours before someone finds us. And I'm starving. James and Sarah. Where is everyone? Ah, ah. Oh, oh, just a bird. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Who's there? Pull yourself together, Trevor. Oh. Ah, ah, my feet are stuck. Ah. Stuck in the muck! Ah, help! Ah, help! Hello, love. Still no sign of Lion? It's not just Lion, Charlie. The school bus hasn't arrived back from the school trip yet. But it should have been here ages ago. I'd better call Fireman Sam right away. It's missing! Children on board! Trevor Evans and the Ponty Pandy children haven't returned from their school trip. Action station! OK, Mandy. Off you go, then. But I don't see why I should go first. What you're saying is you can't do it. I can! It just looks a bit dangerous. Come on, Mandy. I thought you were a cool skater girl. I am. Go on, then. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything to you, Norman Price. Flares. One, two, three, four, five. Check. Oh, I'm never going to get this job finished. Hello? 
Yes, Nipper's just fine, Bronwyn. I didn't know looking after him would be so exhausting. All he wants to do is play fetch. <laughs> nah, no worries. Bye now. Right, where was I? Oh, yeah, the flares. One, two, three, four. Four? Hey, that can't be right. <laughs> Just a few subtle adjustments. Dad? Yes, love? If you don't want to do something that everyone thinks is great, does that mean you're not cool? Mundy, being cool isn't about doing what other people say. It's about doing what you know is right. Now, who's the coolest dad in the world, eh? Ow! You're coming out to play, Mandy. What? So you can tease me again? Oh. Can't you take a joke? Come on! Oh, you kids run along and have fun now. Oh. One, two, three, four. Where is that flare? There were definitely five here just now. Hi, Tom. Ready to go abseiling? What? A uh, bit of a problem, Penny. I've gone and lost one of my flares. Really? Do you want me to help you look for it? Nah, must be around here somewhere. You go ahead and I'll meet you at the top of the cliffs, OK? Well, if you're sure. Y yeah, sure I'm sure. See you soon, Tom. Yeah, bye now. OK, my turn to hide. Shut your eyes and count to a hundred. One, two, twelve. Oi, stop cheating. Count properly. 19, 27, 34, 42, What's this? 57, 69, 76, 99, 100. Found you. Mandy, you're not even trying. Norman, look at this. I think it's a flare. Wow! These are so great. If you're in trouble or lost or whatever, you set them off and they go whoosh into the air so you can be rescued. If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way for fireman's sound